Let's talk about this money, nigga. Cut to it. I, I got bank, 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 bank,
everyone always tells me that I shouldn't have to explain myself to anybody and I don't owe anyone an explanation and the truth is if I didn't have a YouTube channel then no I don't owe anyone an explanation for anything that I say but the fact that I'm out here trying to educate younger generations older people than me who watch me you know I can still shed some light on them and still educate them in things that they didn't know that I'm experiencing because of who I am as a person and stuff like that. So it's like a learning process for every single body. So elderly people can learn from me. Older people can learn from me. Younger people can learn from me. But yeah, like I don't want y'all to think that I'm this person that don't know what I'm talking about or I'm dumb or I'm just this nasty person like y'all seen the person that I was when I was with JC on y'all seen the person I was when I work wasn't with JC on and I'm still not with JC on so y'all see the person that I am you see the matureness and you see me growing like people act like you don't grow like I'm pretty sure it's some 19 year olds and some teenagers who watch my YouTube who are probably very very more immature than I am and it's like you're learning I've been there I'm probably still there but I'm probably like a little ahead of y'all because I'm starting to how do I say I'm starting to think before I speak I'm starting to think about consequences before I take action like you know I really sit back and put myself in other people's shoes like well if someone was to do that to you would you like it or I'm just thinking about every situation before I do anything that can probably cause me losing supporters, that could probably cause me messing up any relationships in the future, you know, just anything. I don't, I'm like I said, I'm on the road to making everything right and that I, I said I was going to do it and that's exactly what I'm doing. So, like I said, y'all need to just bear with me, like, I don't know, just bear with me. Like, if you fuck with me, you support me, then support me, fuck with me. Like, I've seen people in my comments, like, my supporters, and they was like, y'all know Aubrey did not mean that in that kind of way. Like, y'all sitting here dragging everything that she's saying just to make her seem like she's this bad person because y'all personally don't like her. And honestly, I was like, thank you. Like, that's honestly how I feel. Like, some of y'all still watch my videos, but y'all really don't like me anymore because of the situation with JC on. I mean, I apologize, yes. I feel like if the person that was in the situation with me, which was my ex Jason and he can forgive me for the situation and he can move past it so that he can live his life and I can live my life I feel like everyone should too like you know it wasn't anyone else's relationship y'all probably felt connected with us which I understand because you know we was like all Jay's gang and this big old bond that we let everyone into but it's like you can still support me you can still follow me through my journey the same way that you follow him if you follow him like you know it's just a lot of things that you can still learn from me so just look at me as if I wouldn't say look at me like I'm Cardi B but think of me as a Cardi B like you know someone who's very outspoken and someone who is still learning like Cardi B is still learning too to this day and she's a grown-ass woman she's older than me she's a older person like you know you make mistakes in life and sometimes you just can't say sorry for certain things that you do because that's just your character that's who you are as a person every time she curses she's not gonna be like oops my bad oh, like you know she's not gonna do that like what is she apologizing for that's her character that's who she is as a person and i feel like sometimes when i do things i don't really have a filter and it's honestly because that is who i am but if it's going to affect other people and if it's going to torment people and if it's going to cause me losing subscribers and losing followers and supporters why wouldn't i want to change like y'all are the reason why i push for my youtube channel to make y'all happy so that i can give y'all more of orby banks so that y'all can see what orby banks has coming up you know like it's just certain things like that that i think about and yeah so the moral of this message and the moral of this video was just to let y'all know like i'm a work in progress i'm pretty sure all of the older people who i have on youtube which i'm i admire like I really do appreciate every older person who's older than 30 years old sitting down with their children watching this video or watching my videos and educating their children or just older people who's older than me, period, who sit down and take the time out their day to watch my videos. 
Like, do you know how many times I get stopped on the street and I see people who's like 35 plus and they're like, oh my God, I love you so much. I watch you all the time, me and my friends. Like a guy, shout out to Amsterdam. Yes, shout out to Amsterdam. I was on um, line at McDonald's and, today. Um, a guy from Amsterdam recognized me because you know I work in the airport. So he recognized me. He was like, oh my God, you're that girl from YouTube, Aubrey. And I was like, oh, hi, how are you? I wish I had the picture. We took a picture and everything. He just seemed like so excited to see me. And he looked like he was in his late 20s, like 27, 28-ish, if I'm not mistaken, um, early 30s, if that. And like I'm saying, like, I wouldn't think me being 19, having an older crowd, 27, 28, 29, 30 year old people watching me, it's like, damn, like, I can really change the world one day or I can really educate so many people on so many different things that they probably never knew before. And I just feel blessed to have this platform that I do have. So I'm definitely not gonna take advantage of this platform. I'm going to use my platform very wisely. And that's what I'm saying. From my very first video ever on YouTube, since All J's Love, all the way until now, if you say that you can't see progress, then maybe you really just don't like me. Or maybe I'm just that bitch. Period. But now, if you do see progress or anything, like, I fucks with you. And I know you fucks with me hard because you know, like, shit is not easy. It's not peaches and cream 24-7. Especially being trans and living the lifestyle that I live. Like, I go through shit every single day just walking outside of the house. You know, like, my life is in danger already just for being me. So, like I said, I fuck with everyone who supports me. I mess around with everyone who messes around with me. Like, I really do love y'all for real. Like, if it really wasn't for y'all, I promise you I wouldn't be here where I was today. Um, so yeah, please stop just taking it as I'm this bad person and I'm trying to bash everything and everything that I say or make a mistake on. I mean it and it's intentional because honestly, it's really not. So don't take it that way. And yeah, I like, I really do love y'all all. Aubrey gang. Y'all already know how that go. And yeah, just stay tuned for, you know, more videos. Like I said. My breast augmentation is coming up October 14th. I'm flying out, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be a hell of a vlog. Um, I've never been on a plane before, so yeah. Just get ready for all this good stuff. Talk to y'all later.